Good morning, this is Evan from ConnectSmart. Today we're going to walk you through how to pipe out your gadgets to a web page. So you want to start here on your, uh, let's see, your, your web server. And in this case, this is uh, server 2008, but uh, anything lower will work as well. And the first step, we're going to open up Task Scheduler. So let's get that open. And you want to click on the Task Scheduler Library and click on Microsoft and then under actions you want to hit a create a task okay once that's loaded you can name that to um, your company name or whatever you, you deem worthy uh, we're, for now we're going to stick with web demo and then you want to uh, set a couple criteria down here the first one is run whether the user is logged on or not and then you also want it to run with highest privileges once you've got that set then you want to click on triggers um, and click new and we want to set up this one right here where it says uh, at task creation and modification and uh, we can set a repeat for every say one hour and the duration of indefinitely so this will keep looping and keep that action open uh, and uh, we can actually set that a little lower uh, maybe 10 minutes of a refresh we want to hit OK to that and then you want to hit on actions the next step and you want to hit new and then you want this action to be start a program in the program script you want to type PowerShell and then you also want to in and add arguments this is where we want to put in the, the special code that brings up the gadgets and I've typed it up here on a, a little document here it basically is composed of three sections so we've got a header a body and a footer the header is the script right here which you can copy and I'll keep that document and with the video in the description uh, you want to paste that in here and then next you want a list of the gadgets you want displayed uh, for now I think we're actually just gonna I made a sample version just to keep things simple and we've got the tickets not responded gadget in there and then the last section is the footer section where you set the refresh uh, and uh, you set the name of the HTML file. In our case, it was web demo. So I've got the whole script right here. We're going to copy that and paste it into add arguments. And then in the start in field, we're going to type in the name of our uh, web folder. So in this case, it's, uh, it's usually inet pub, and then we've got a, a subfolder, connect smart gadgets and this will export the images to that folder and we'll hit OK and it's going to ask you for your password and you're good to go you'll see your new web demo created right here um, later on if you want to add gadgets you can double click this and adjust that action string that we uh, uh, typed in right there so that's going to be the field and uh, you just want to separate them by commas. So if you want every uh, all the gadgets you want listed, you want to just comma separate them like that. Okay, so let's test this out. Uh, after that is run successfully, you will see in that Connect Smart Gadgets folder a new HTML document, web demo. And when we run that, there we've got some of the gadgets that we've placed in that script. And this can be uh, loaded on your mobile device, and it will check your user agent and see what kind of phone you're using and um, adjust the resolution accordingly. I also do want to point out that you are going to want to have your gadget paths in your environment variable uh, settings. So if you go up to advanced settings, <clears throat> they should be in here under environment variables. You're going to want to have that as well. Um, basically a full Connect Smart installation needs to be implemented on this web server in order for have those uh, gadgets to be piped out to that web page. Um, uh, and as a side note too, if you have difficulty in the gadgets displaying correctly, you all also need to grab the template files that are uh, end in .pgt that are in the scripts directory and you need to load them into your documents directory here on the web server and I've done that already as you can see here these are power gadget template files these will allow the like the uh, the open close ratio gadget things like that to display correctly if the power gadget template is in your documents folder here okay and let's uh, I'm gonna pull in a, 
VNC session of a mobile device here and uh, we're gonna test this web page here and I've got it bookmarked as a home page but you can see here we do have those gadgets um, set with the address we've assigned and uh, that's it got everything piped out accordingly and these can be modified etc you can make your own custom list so that's how it's done folks thanks for watching